Okay, I'm going to continue doing videos on uh, radium painted dials. Uh, this time we're going to look at the Ingersoll pocket watch again that I showed a couple of videos ago. Uh, this dates from the 1920s and obviously uh, in that period uh, radium painted dials was very very popular and obviously the radium would soak in all the UV rays and uh, it would glow at night. Now, uh, this watch is quite interesting. The glass, um, this is a very, very high alpha emitter and the glass blocks, um, in fact, it's, it's actually quite a high alpha and beta emitter, um, but the glass um, blocks a lot of it. Um, it's, the gla glass is quite thick. Now, uh, what I'll do is I'll show you um, what I'm getting with the glass in place. And the reason for this, uh, I've got the therapy in a plastic bag um, I'm going to pop the cover, the glass cover off this soon and I just want, uh, I don't want any contamination getting inside the, uh, onto the tube. So there's the alarm going off on the therapy and I am getting, that's 38, 37, 36 microsieverts, 38 microsieverts. So say average, it's between 38 and 40 microsieverts on that. So that's with the glass on and then I'll do the same with the thermometer and with the glass in place this has given me 50, 60 microsieverts so obviously this is more sensitive um, than the therapy so the uh, I would always sort of trust this more than I would trust the therapy. Yeah, so we're on between 50 and 60 on that. So what that'll be picking up is gamma and beta. Obviously all the alpha will be getting blocked. So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna put on a pair of gloves <clears throat> because I have had this open before and I'm not 100% sure. I, have, I was wearing gloves the last time too, but I'm not 100% sure about dusting this. Um, so I think it would be a good idea. And I mean, if you are going to be working with something that has a lot of dust in it, I would advise putting on a respirator as well. Um, I'm going to put on um, a little cloth facelet mask that you've probably seen in the news recently quite a lot. Okay, so to open the uh, the case, um, we're going to use the, um, the very base here. And then I'm going to use the, the winding knob as a fulcrum. And then that pops the lid off. So, okay, and you can see that there must be a little bit of dust we're getting about three microsieverts there, three and a half microsieverts there just on this section here. So there's obviously a little bit of dust in there. So you can see that the, uh, the dust does come off and obviously if it's all alpha and beta particles, you, you really don't want to be ingesting that. <clears throat> so there is the, uh, the glass face off. Now this is where it gets quite interesting. Um, now that glass face is off, um, all of the alpha uh, and beta and gamma is completely free. So if I do this meter first, in fact, no, I'll do the therapy first just to see what the, the beta is. So the beta has now jumped up to, we're up to 203, 204, 209. So the beta has now jumped up 209, 210. So that's quite a considerable jump from what we had before. And if I stick, hopefully you can see the scale. We can see we're getting a millisievert. So we've jumped up from what we were getting before, which was about 60 microsieverts. We've now jumped up to a thousand microsieverts, which is a millisievert. Um, and that is all down to the alpha particles and the soft betas, which now have absolutely no resistance with the glass in place. Um, it blocks all the alpha and a bit of the soft beta. 
but now everything is free to come through. So you can see how an, an item which was reasonably safe um, has now become quite dangerous, uh, which is incredible when you see radiation. Um, I've only recently, uh, obviously with my museum being the Cold War, um, it's only fairly recently that I've started to become quite interested in radiation and the effects of radiation. Uh, and it is quite incredible when you see the difference between, uh, you know, a piece of glass, a piece of paper, what it can block. Um, so yeah, that is the um, Ingersoll Leader uh, radio light. The radio light is obviously what distinguishes it uh, as having the, uh, the radium paint. And this would have been one of the watches that the radium girls actually painted by hand. Um, so there's quite a bit of history with this watch. Um, obviously these, these poor girls were licking the tips of their brush and uh, to get a nice little fine point and then painting the individual numbers on and the numerals on uh, and then obviously these alpha particles and beta particles were getting into their into their body and uh, making them seriously seriously ill uh, and uh, yeah it's quite an interesting story if you look it up online there's quite a few books about it there's a good audio book out at, out, out at the moment about it as well but yeah just thought I'd very very briefly show you this and uh, again Hopefully, with the way the, the uh, postal service is going at the moment, I'm waiting on a delivery of two parcels coming from Ukraine. So hopefully soon I will get them. I've been waiting on them for about 10 days now. So hopefully they arrive soon and um, I'll be able to show you some, uh, some really interesting bits and pieces. But until next time, thanks for watching. See you again. Bye bye.